Eddie McCormack. And the final foul there was very much by Tyke Fennan. Here comes Cormac Davy. Sweeney. Down towards Dermot Early. It's over hit, however. I think they're after swapping Dermot Early and Martin Lynch at this stage. Uh, any of them could do the job in there because both of them are having outstanding games for Kildare. Well, there's a change, as you can see. And it's going to be Barry Monaghan who will come on for Donegal and he'll come on in place of Martin Call, who went into this match in any case under something of a cloud with an injury. So that is the first change made by either manager. John Gilday. Damien Diver. Try to hold it up there, but Tony Boyle couldn't hold on. McCormack way back. Picked ahead there by Duan. Out it goes to Martin Lynch. Fouled in possession, so he gets the free for his team. Good play there by Kindle to get his hand in for a cornerback. All you have to do is get a hand or some part of your body in to try and break it up, break it away from your man, and it's up to the halfbacks to pick it up. And a good releasing ball up the up the field into Martin Lynch, who is available for Evering at the moment. Fifteen minutes remain, and you see Niall Buckley going across to uh, take the free. That's Martin Call. He was injured, as we told you, when he was going off. It's a huge one, it's got accuracy, it's over. Big eruption of sound at Newbridge. The faithful seeing their side take a three-point lead. That's one free converted out of three by Niall Buckley so far in this match. His other point in the game came from play. Oh, a mistake by Mark Crossan. John Doyle feeding it outside. Porrick Brennan just needs space to kick back to Doyle mostly known as a free taker but kicking it from play here and putting it over it's his fifth point but all of that will go down to the mistake by Mark Crossan had the chance to get the ball away was sloppy in his clearance and now Kildare as you see lead by four well, this is where John Doyle came through the eye of a needle and put it over the bar. I think Tony Baker is going to kick this ball as far out as he can out around midfield. I, that's the last short kick out he's going to take in this game. Now what is the Donegal response? So far, we haven't seen it. Kenny Dwan, Buckley, inside for Lynch. Now the big men, the quality footballers are beginning to show what they can do. Donegal are still in it. When you have forwards like Tony Boyle and Brendan Devenny in there in the full forward line, you always have the opportunity of sneaking a goal. But you've got to give them the ball. And there could well be another Donegal change very shortly. Here's Mark Crossan. They feed it out here towards Barry Monaghan. That is just into the game. This is Brian McLaughlin. He could be the one to make way. I'm not quite sure exactly yet, but it's going to be number 21, in fact, who's uh, going to make way. That will be Tony Boyle. So Tony Boyle, who scored three points in the match, made a valuable contribution. And the player who's going to come in here now will be James Gallagher. Gallagher from Guidor. Played in the championship matches so far, of course, where Donegal is concerned. They have been three matches against Fermanagh. A win, a draw, and a loss. 